It's T.B. Shores. It's February 19, 2016. It's 12.46 p.m. Um, there's some things that the Lord wanted me to, to back up on just a little bit and revisit. Um, when I listened to my video number eight, um, I clearly could hear me tiptoeing around this particular verse right here and what I was trying to explain. And the Holy Spirit um, is really prompting me to revisit this and explain better what I was trying to say um, about where it speaks about the destruction unto their own destruction. Um, I was talking about how it opens up doors for the enemy. But before we get back into that thought, let's revisit the verse in its entirety. 2 Peter 3.16 says, As also in all his epistles, speaking of Paul, speaking in them of these things. Now, we're going we're gonna to look at what this means in a minute, these things. In which are some things hard to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable wrestle. As they, excuse me, yes, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Okay, what this verse is saying, and I know we covered this before, but the Lord wants it covered again. Um, it clearly lets us know that there are scriptures that are hard to understand. Some things hard to be understood. And it's also, well, let me just keep going. Which they that are unlearned and unstable wrestle. Okay, this is speaking of being unlearned and unstable in the word of God. Because if we're only relying on surface understandings, we are not grounded in the word of God. And we have to be grounded in the word of God. Or we're going to be like this. As they do also the other scriptures. What are the other scriptures? Well, it's speaking of those that are hard to be understood up here. So the other scriptures are those that are not hard to be understood. Because if you're not seeking the fullness of God's understanding, even the simpler things in the word... um you'll end up wrestling with because you're not getting a clear connection uh, to be able to comprehend fully what's being said. And if you're not learning the deeper things, the things that are hard to understand, it gives you a, a false understanding of the things that are on the surface. Um, and of course it goes on to say, unto their own destruction. Because the surface understandings, the other scriptures, the ones that are not hard to understand, lose their fullness of meaning if we don't seek the full understanding of God's word and God's intended meaning. So it's about being unlearned and ungrounded, unknowledgeable and ungrounded in the word of God. And it will cause us to wrestle the hard to understand things also the other scripture would if which is not hard to understand and you'll wrestle with it unto your own destruction now what the lord means by that is if we're only understanding bits and pieces and not digging for other things the lord wants to show us um we are leaving gaps in our understanding. And that leaves doors open. For Satan to insert. Whatever lie. That will fit pretty in there. So that we can believe it. Um, that's why it's so important. Why, why God has me doing this. Is it's so important. To get in the word. Which is spending time with him. I might add. Because of what we see. In uh, John chapter 1. Or it speaks about um, the word in the beginning was God and was with God 
And then we see later in the verse where it tells us that the word became flesh, which was Christ. So the word itself is part of the Lord. And when we spend time in the word, we're spending time in the Lord. Do you get what I'm saying? In the Lord. You're spending time in the Lord. So this, if, if you are, oh my goodness, oh me. Okay, I'm just going to say it. If you are content, comfortable, and settle, settle for just reading and being comfortable with just your surface understanding, um, you are limiting yourself in your relationship with him because he is the word when we get in the word we are in him learning the deeper things of him um that's what it needs to be about reading the word is fine it's good that's how we start that's how New Christians get the milk that they need to grow spiritually. You have to start with the milk, but you don't remain on the milk. You have got to, as in the scripture that I referred to several videos ago, I think it's in, um, I think it's in Isaiah 48. Those that will receive knowledge those that will receive knowledge and doctrine are those who are off the milk okay if you stay in the milk you're not going to receive knowledge and doctrine from the Lord you're going to be content with the surface understandings and it is going to leave a door open for the enemy to insert his lies which will lead to destruction that's what the Lord wanted me to emphasize with this verse. That when we are unlearned and unstable, which means ungrounded, meaning not having dug into the word of God and filled in the gaps of the things that we don't understand. Yes, there are things we're going to understand just as we read the word of God. But he wants us digging into him, the word. Because it grows our relationship in him. And it, it puts us in into an understanding of the things of him. To where Satan cannot insert his lies. And bring us to destruction. And what the Lord wants to emphasize with that. Is how. Okay. Okay. Good example. We look back at 2 Thessalonians. Where it speaks about the strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. There will be a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And if we're only, if we're settling for surface understandings and leaving gaps in understanding, then we are leaving the door wide open for Satan to insert his lies. And Satan will not insert obvious lies, trust me. He will insert lies. That looks like it fits just beautifully. Okay. Um, a lot of the surface understandings people have. They adhere to it so tightly. That they don't open their mind up to understand. The deeper things of the Lord. Um, and this leaves gaps. In your understanding of the word. Gaps that Satan can fill in with his lies. This is about. Being unlearned and unstable in the scriptures, in the, in the hard to understand scriptures and the other scriptures which are not hard to understand. And it leading unto their own destruction. Unto their own destruction. What that destruction is, 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 is a spiritual destruction. Because by the word, we, we build up our inner man, the spirit man. To be strong in God. It is by the word that we have strength in the Lord. 
And it, like I said before, it grows us. Where is that scripture? It grow, oh, it's down below. It, it increases our grace and our peace. We talked about this in that last video. Because it's multiply unto you through the knowledge of God. If we're filled up with the grace and the peace of God, filled up with the things of God to the point that we have an inner peace and being able to rest in, in the knowledge of God, and what we know God is and is not and is and will not do. Once we have that peace, we won't fall for the lies that the enemy can insert that bring us to destruction. Because clearly, one very good example is in Second Thessalonians, verse 11, where it speaks about they shall believe a lie. Strong delusion that they should believe a lie. I can't emphasize enough how we are leaving ourselves wide open for the lies of Satan to bring us down. And if we go on to the next verse again, it says, Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before. Know what things before? That scriptures, some things are hard to be understood. And that if you're unlearned and unstable, in the scriptures you're going to wrestle with the hard scriptures and the scriptures, the other scripture, what is which is not hard to, to understand. So being you know this beforehand, beware, lest ye also, being led away by the lie. See what I'm talking about? Being led away with the error of the wicked. Being led away with the error of the wicked is, is they don't seek the knowledge of God. Being led away by the lies of the enemy. Fall from your own steadfastness. The Lord's wanting us to make sure that we have sought Him so that we are not deceived by the enemy. Speaking in them of these things, just to make sure we're clear on what these things are, let's look back. These things, the main thing we see when we look back in the previous scriptures, is it's talking about the day of the Lord. And I'm not going to get into all this, but you can read it yourself with, with 2 Peter 3.10. It's, it's speaking about the day of the Lord, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God. So it's these, these things he is instructing us to get learned and stable in. Because if we are not learned and stable in the things of the Lord, and, and specifically speaking to these last days, we will believe the lies that come with the strong delusion. It's very important that we we grasp the whole of what's being said with this one verse. Read it and read it again. Well, and the one below it. Okay? Because it's clearly telling us there are scriptures that are hard to understand. And there are other scriptures that are not hard to understand. That which they that are unlearned and unstable wrestle. Unlearned, unknowledgeable unstable, ungrounded, wrestle with the other scriptures and the hard to understand scriptures unto their own destruction. Being fooled by the lies of the enemy. Why is it so important for us to know the word of God? It grows our relationship within, with him. We become stronger in him and we won't believe the lies of the enemy. This is, I can't emphasize this enough because we are at the point to where the lies of the enemy are only going to increase. We have got to be learned and stable in all scriptures, in the 
hard to be understood and the not hard to be understood scriptures we've got to be learned and grounded so that it doesn't lead us to our own destruction because we we weren't grounded enough in God's word to recognize lies of the enemy and you know there are many of us that think that we wouldn't recognize lies of the enemy but I'm going to tell you as you get deeper into the word of God it, it starts opening up things to you that you never imagined and you you can then begin to understand the depth of the lies that are going to be put in the face of people. And I can tell you from the things that the Lord has shown me, the enemy will come with uh, to us with lies that are just as powerful if we are not, if we are not learned and stable in the scriptures um i hope that everyone can understand the intense importance of what god, god is trying to tell us here and you know we build our relationship not only through the word but through our communing with him uh, sitting and talking spending time with him and through prayer, prayer life as well. But like I said, when we get in the Word, we are getting into the Lord. Because the Word became flesh. The Word is part of the Lord. Actually part of the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying there? So if, if you're settled with just knowing the surface of scripture you are compromising what you your relationship in the Lord it compromises your relationship in the Lord I can't emphasize this enough from what the Lord has shown me because the, the enemy is coming with stronger lies and we're going to be more likely to believe them. And I know, I know there are people who, who think that people who have dug deeper into the Word um, may have been deceived themselves. But I'm going to tell you, God won't deceive you. If you're, if you're digging in to understand the deeper things of Him, you will not be deceived. The enemy cannot deceive you in the Word of God, digging into the depths of God. It's the surface. It's just knowing the surface and partial truth that allows the enemy to insert his lies. You can't insert his lies if, if you have the fullness of God's truth. I'm going to leave it at that. I love y'all. Bye-bye.